Hey Virgo, how you doing? Welcome to the Crow Tarot. Uh, we're gonna be doing your first half of March general reading. But before I get started on that, I gotta give a big shout out to my girl over at Black Rose Tarot. Um, if you resonate with the hot mess that is me in this channel, you will definitely resonate with her. She just gave me a personal reading that blew my freaking mind. So head over to Black Rose Tarot and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, tell her the crow sent you, baby, and, and uh, trust me, you're gonna find her to be just as much of a hoot and a holler as, as I do. She is just amazing. Okay, let's get into your reading here. Let's see what the animal energy is for my Virgos. Virgos, Virgos, Virgos. What's the animal energy? Whoa! Listen, they gave me two, and we're gonna take them both. Interesting. Okay, so we got the sea serpent here, okay? This is about completing a cycle of healing. This is about no longer repeating past patterns that no longer work for us, right? Imagine that this is the face of a clock and then both hands are pointing right at noon like dee 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 dee, like the timer goes off, done. You've healed from something and it's a really beautiful thing, okay? This also does not come up when there hasn't been some pain or hard times that have preceded it, for real, for real. So this is brilliant, this is like graduation day. Well done, Virgo. Well done. I also feel like you guys might have been a little exasperated about some things in your life that weren't going the way that, that you would have preferred. But I feel like you're moving past that, you know, exasperating energy and you're in a better place. Now, this is interesting because you've got the panther, okay? Now, I'm going to tell you what this means for me in this context because, you know, at just a first look, these are two different energies, y'all. And this could be saying that you feel different from day to day. Sometimes it, you know, sometimes it's that way. Sometimes one day bears very little resemblance to the day before it. Sometimes we're just like that. The panther is a very active energy, but it's a ferocious energy. So this says that you, you might be deciding to take another route or try another door. You might be trying to go into the side door to some of these things that you've been working on manifesting towards you. But this energy here, this panther, it's got to be said, you know, there's some feelings of like, you know, look at this, look at this panther. Real intense. You might have some things that come up. Oh, okay, thank you. You might have some things that come up here um, in the first half of March that trigger you that may uh, test how much you've healed some old wounds, for real. You might be a little bit tested, but that's okay. That's what, you know, that's life, right? That's life. But it's interesting here. It also feel like the, it feels like there's a lot of new things that are coming your way if you can kind of acknowledge these triggers that may come up. I mean, let's just call a thing a thing. You might be trying to fight or triggered or, or you know, feeling like, oh, I wanna say something before I think it all the way through. Oh, I thought I healed that and now I'm getting pissed the hell off. <laughs> I say this with love. I love my Virgos, I really do. Um, I have mostly Virgos in my life, okay? I really do love y'all. Um, I just saw 3.33 on my timer. Yeah, the, you know, you, it's okay. Sometimes we do have to take a step back to get those two steps forward, okay? Let's get some more information on this from my Virgos. What's going on for my Virgos for first half of March? Please and thank you. Yeah, well, exactly. So we got five of wands here. So this is a struggle. This could be internal and or external, right? This is competitiveness, a struggle. It feels like it's just like this, this push and pull type of energy here. Okay, five of all is also the number of great change. There could be some things that kind of pop off before they get settled again. Okay, let's get another one for y'all. Let's get another one for my Virgos. Ooh, buddy. We got the death card, Scorpio energy. Remember what I said, where there are things that you thought that you healed, but then there might be, you know, negative Nancy over here or someone trying to try your patience where you really want to pop off and you're like, wait a minute, wait a dang minute. I really thought that I healed that shit and now I'm getting triggered by this person at the office or, you know, family member, even in your partner, whatever, right? But it's interesting because it really feels like it really feels like it's going to be day to day. It really feels like these are two opposing energies. And you know what this is? This is just going to be further opportunity to heal even more from the things that trigger you. 
I know that sounds a little like, you know, ooh la la, like you're trying to make something positive that isn't, but I'm serious when I say that. I'm never gonna, I'm always gonna keep it positive, but I'm not gonna give you false hope either. And that's what I'm getting here, okay? It's just an opportunity for further healing, okay? Yeah, death card, something ending so that something new can begin. And I'm going to tell you something. It's very funny what I'm feeling here. This feels like past energy that you've healed from and are healing from. But this, I, it's not even about the panther itself. I'm just telling you what I feel energetically. This, it, it's, it feels like you're being triggered, but it also feels that there's newness coming towards you that's going to come after this Five of Wands business and this official, you know, healing the 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 com actual completion of this healing cycle i feel like you're hungry for newness too i think you're a little sick of the same old same old you might be longing for change okay which i completely understand and relate to by the way okay all right let's get another one what else is going on from my burgos <clears throat> yeah okay the moon so uh this is you know you could have scorpio in your life because this is scorpio energy here i don't like to get too hung up on the signs but this also represents scorpio and pisces for me but this is about things that are hidden or in the unconscious things that are not in the light things that are not revealed things that are unknown remember what i said about thinking that you had healed some stuff it could even be from long ago it could be a family dynamic i'm feeling too but things that you, you know, like inner wounds that you thought that you healed, there's still stuff here that, that's being called to, to heal. And other people that trigger you in this time, it's just going to draw your attention to it. But listen, this would not be happening if you were not. The universe is bringing you the opportunity to really heal this further and all the way because you're about to manifest a lot of beautiful things and you won't have room for them if you don't complete this healing first. So thank these people that are about to piss you to F off. <laughs> I'm so serious about that. It's like, okay, this person's really triggering me. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Because now that's just shining a light on something that I didn't see that, that still needs to be healed. That's what this is. Let's get some clarifiers. Let's get some clarifiers from the Virgos. But I do get a sense that you may be triggered. I feel like for a lot of you, it could be in a work context, but also at home as well, or like family top deal, you know? Isn't it always family that can really <laughs> trigger us the most? Because they know just like which buttons to push. I mean, hello. Okay, why is this five of wands here from a, wow. Yeah, okay, oops. So we got Knight of Cups here. Now, this is fascinating. I feel like when I've read for you guys before, I feel like we had been talking about connecting with your passion and really doing what you love to do. The fact that this is clarifying the five of wands here, which is all about discord and struggle, I feel like there might be some of you, and I feel like it's split down the middle. <coughs> Excuse me. I do feel like for some of you, this could be a discontent with, it just feels very worky. I feel like all of your readings that I do for y'all are largely about work. I don't know why. Um, but I did just talk to my friend the other day that's a Virgo and, and he was like, I'm really just focused on work right now. I guess that's just where your energy's been this year. Anyway, uh -huh. so um, I, I do feel like, you know, are you doing what you love to do? But also this could also be feeling frustrated about a love situation. Let's just call a thing a thing. This could be some of this past pain that we've been talking about and why you might be feeling a little ferocious about it too and wanting newness. Yeah, I mean, this has to do with matters of the heart here, this Knight of Cups. There could even be an offer coming to you that you just flat out reject. That you just flat out reject because you don't feel good on the inside right now. It just feels like a push and pull. It's almost, I almost hear this like thing of like, oh my God, like why, why now? Like I just, I'm ready for newness. I'm getting triggered by really random things. And I feel like there's this person around here like, hey, how about me? You want to go out? You're like, I cannot even right now holler at me in like a month. I think that's only for a handful of you. I think, but I think the, you know, the overall thing here is about, you know, spending time doing things that make your heart happy. It feels like you guys might be coming from a place of obligation right now. Okay? It does. It does. Okay, why is this death card here? 
I say that with love, my Virgos. I really, really do. Okay. Two nights in a row. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Knight of Wands, fast coming for communication with the death card. Okay. So remember how we talked about these things from the past? We may have thought that we healed and then the death card and all this good stuff. Yeah, I mean, this really feels like this has to do with matters of the heart. For some of you, it really could be romantic because we have Knight of Cups and Knight of Wands. I think something could have ended here too and you think you're over it or you're trying like hell to get over it and it's just kind of a stop and start. You know, the moon card here, they could have not revealed their feelings or they could have been keeping things from you, could be vice versa. Uh, everything could be vice versa, okay, in these readings. But there's something in you, you know, on the inside that just feels just really just like, oh, like you, like, like, there's a lot of you that has healed. I wanna give you credit on this. This would not come up if you hadn't. There's just a little bit more little bit more to do and the universe is going to reveal that to you through triggers in your external circumstances okay but I do feel like for some of you uh, you know a love situation um, has ended it could even have been from a while ago honestly for some of you right interesting I have a suspicion let's get one more clarifier because I have a suspicion about something let's see why is this moon card here why is this moon card here <laughs> this was my suspicion okay so you got the two of wands here but it came out in the reverse so the two of wands is thinking about moving on but it's not three of wands you're not actually making steps on it it's in reverse and it's around the moon card now my suspicion was that this person uh, you know for those of you who are dealing with you know someone that uh you know, things ended with, or they're on pause with, and it's it's just kind of causing all of this, like, ugh, back in, you know, internal conflict and getting pissed off at people and stuff like that. Um, it ain't the end of the story. It ain't the end of the story. Because this came up in reverse. I think this, God, these readings, man, there's something in the air. Love is in the air. Um, I do feel like this person is gonna come back around, and they're at least at the very base case they are going to tell you the truth about things. This is someone who maybe was keeping things from you, and then they're gonna come and I'm gonna be like, okay, here's the truth. And it's gonna be up to you whether you take it or leave it. Also, what they're telling me, this may be your reaction to their truth. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the truth can be hard to hear, obviously, but I will tell you that from what I'm seeing here with the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands, I do feel, it, I don't know how self-aware this person is, but I feel like in their own mind, they're coming back with good intentions. It's gonna be up to you to discern whether or not that is true. But it's interesting because I feel like the universe is presenting you with these opportunities where it's like, okay, are you in your dream job? Are you in your dream relationship dynamic? They're gonna show you areas that, that you can improve upon to manifest exactly what you want. It's so interesting. You've got two knights here. And then the two of wands in reverse with the moon card and the death card. You're gonna be called to make some choices and the choices are gonna come out of things that were hidden that are gonna be revealed. I think this is something that's gonna happen with you internally, but this also has to do with external stuff. I mean, just, I mean, you've got two knights here. You've got Knight of Wands and Knight of Cups. And as far as this person is concerned, they're in their integrity when they come back around and they reveal this stuff to you. But it's gonna be up to you about how you're feeling. You know, it's gonna be different for everybody. But it is gonna delay a complete moving on. This is saying like, you know, no, 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 no. This cycle is not completely finished and healed yet, but guess what? It will be one way or the other. Whether you start again with this person, right? Death card, it's gonna be up to you. Whether you're going to see what's what the truth is, it's going to be up to you what you decide to do. It's going to be different for everybody. Um, getting the new moon. Whenever the new moon is this month, I don't know it off the top of my head. They might, uh, some of this might be revealed. You might get um, psychic hits, like intuitive hits, that you're going to be hearing from this person again. The shape of the moon, too. They're drawing my attention to that. New moon feels especially important somehow. You may even be getting a download of, of something or intuitively feel them coming. Okay? But yeah, all in all, you guys, it's just kind of like, the story is not over yet. You've still got some rounds to go and it's not necessarily gonna feel like, you know, chocolate milk and a side of macaroons. 
<laughs> but it's but it's all meant to be and it's all purposeful and again the boon the beautiful gift of this is that you are going to feel so good after this cycle completes itself and just welcome those who annoy you and trigger you so it's like wow thank you for like highlighting what i what i need to heal and what i need to look at more closely right that's what this is you know what i'm feeling like getting a romance angel for y'all i really am and remember how I said whenever I read for you guys, it's like kind of always about work. And then the guides came in and they were like, uh-uh, this is about work, but it's also about love. I love it. Okay, let's get a romance angels for you guys for my Virgos. Romance angels. Yeah, guys. This is what I'm saying. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Moon card. Moon card, moon card, moon card. Right? And you know this and you feel it and you know that this writing is on the wall. The, again, when they come back towards you, it's going to be up to you to decide if they've actually taken off that mask because they could. This is just what's got you here. This is just what's gotten you here. Now you could take this and make it about yourself if it resonates that way, but I really feel like this is about someone else. I mean, this could be kind of seeing what you thought was healed is not completely healed, but I really feel like this is about someone else who was keeping things hidden. I don't even know if they were realizing they were doing it. I think some of them, yes, but some of it could have really been unconscious and thought that they were living in the truth, but really they were not. Not everyone is self-aware, okay? Seriously though, but yeah, it has you it has your feelings inside like this and it could be like oh my god Is this gonna end or start again or which way are we going here? What's going on? You're gonna feel them come back around with the knight of wands and the and the um, Knight of cups here and it's gonna be up to you to what to do They're either gonna still have that mask on or it's gonna be ripped off their face They're gonna have band-aids -aid, band all up in there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's all good Virgos though. It's all good it's always all good, that's why. It's always all good. And again, you got the sea serpent. <laughs> it's it's um, beautifully positive, auspicious card to get. Let's get an archangel for you guys. Ooh. Okay, I'm obsessed. Do you remember when I just said to you guys that like, oh, this is about work and love. <laughs> Passion, Archangel Haniel, trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. Yes, from the ashes of this discord is going to rise something really beautiful and new and a brand new you. And I have to say something really cool. So Haniel, the angel Haniel, is uh, affiliated and associated, associated with the moon and moon cycles. Remember when I talked about the new moon? You may get like intuitive hits around that, or you may realize what they were hiding for yourself. It could come in a dream, or you could feel them coming back around this point. I'm obsessed. I need to read this again, because this is like the spoonful of sugar that's helping this medicine go down in the most delightful way. Archangel Haniel, angel of the moon cycles, you guys. Trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. It's about love life and career. Thank you, gods and angels, for clarifying that. <laughs> guys, this is, you know, what a beautiful note to end on. I really want you to put your focus on these two. This is all the details, right? But these are the two things that really matter. Sea serpent and passion. Healing leads to new, renewed passion and life. My beautiful Virgos, this was your first half of March general reading. I so hope that this resonated with you um, and was helpful to you. Um, I got a shout out to my friend Turtle. Hey Turtle, how you doing? One of my favorite Virgos ever. Um, if this did resonate with you, um, you know, I am available for personal readings again. I did take a break, okay, for a minute. I needed a break, but I am back in action. Um, all that information is in the About Me section. With that being said, my beautiful Virgos, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching this, but mostly thank you for being you, and be well. Until next time.